friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're gonna talk about something that we kinda don't like talking about, which is product buildup. It happens to the best of us, yes, even me. Product buildup is different than dandruff. So first we gotta figure out the difference between the two. Dandruff is an actual skin condition that will create flakes on your hair. Often they'll fall off, you'll see them on your shoulders, and they also can be a yellowish type color. Where product buildup is something that we create on our own by adding too much product building up on our scalp. Product buildup looks less like flakes, like large flakes, but more like little dust white particles. This is really common in curly hair because we don't wash our hair every single day. Or you shouldn't be because you don't have to. Our hair often looks better as the week goes on and I personally have stretched my hair up to like day eight and it still looked really good. So we really shouldn't push it that far if we don't have to. I mean, it happens, we get lazy, we've been stuck in quarantine. So we might not have as many wash days as the next person. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to avoid product buildup. Innersense has a detox hair mask. Thank you, Innersense, for sponsoring today's video and letting me be one of the first people to try this new detox mask. So right here it says it's a clarifying detox treatment to remove buildup. Amazing. It has charcoal, kaolin, and white vinegar to draw out microparticles to the surface without stripping hair of natural oils, ideal for all hair types and textures. So let me go ahead and show you my proof. You guys know I love a good before and after. Here is my dry product buildup. I will admit I had a very experimental week of trying a bunch of new products because it's my job. So when I have to use new products every single day, I often get product buildup. So I'm gonna grab the new Innersense Detox Hair Mask. This is going to be a step one before you shampoo and condition your hair. It actually has a very light scent. Doesn't really smell like too much, maybe a little bit of that charcoal. But to my surprise, it didn't have like that minty tingling sensation, which I know some people actually hate that cold, cool feeling. So it doesn't have that, which makes it very unique, but it is a very light consistency to just leave on my hair. The directions say that you actually can apply it from roots to ends to get rid of any product buildup on the lengths of your hair. Rub it in there, kind of loosen up any product buildup, and then I'm gonna apply a little bit more to the lengths of my hair. Once my whole head is covered, I'm gonna put it up into a shower cap and let it sit for three to five minutes. So after that five minutes, I then take off my shower cap and I'm gonna go one step further and even use a scalp massage brush. A scalp massage brush is another tip where you can really pick up any flakes or product buildup. So you go around massaging your whole head, very top, even the back of your head, the, both the sides. Then I'm going to rinse it out and voila, here are the after results. All the product buildup is gone. Hallelujah. Another reason why it is a little bit easier for me personally to remove product buildup is because I don't use products with silicone. Silicone, some people love it, some people hate it, me being one of them. I mean, I don't hate it, it's just really unnecessary. And it's a, an ingredient that's really hard to remove from your hair. There are water soluble silicones, which are a little bit easier to rinse out than just the harsher silicones, but you don't need them. I mean, why? All of my favorite Innersense products are all sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So if you look at my hair, you obviously do not need silicone to have shine, to have slip, to have definition. My curls haven't had silicone for years and it's doing just fine without it. So if you can, choose a brand like Innersense that really focuses on clean ingredients. Innersense is probably one of the most organic, natural products on my product shelf. I actually even use these products on my baby. That's how much I trust this brand. They just really strive on clean, simple beauty. So after I rinse it out, I'm going to be using a sulfate-free shampoo. Innersense makes products for every hair type. So they have three different options for you. There is the Pure Harmony Hair Bath, which is made for fine to medium hair. There's the Hydrating Cream Hair Bath, which is for thick, coarse, and thirsty hair. And then there's the Color Awakening Hair Bath for medium texture, color, or chemically treated hair, which is the one I'm gonna be using today. Now let's talk about your conditioner. Silicone and conditioner, it's usually the biggest culprit and the favorite place for silicones to hang out. That is a great benefit of silicone is that it creates great slip. So a lot of people will not let go of their silicone conditioner because it has great slip. But it's not going to help your hair in the long run and it can cause 
product buildup. So let's say you have silicone in your conditioner, but then you also have it in your styling cream, and then you also have it in your gel. That's just too much silicone packed onto your hair. But even the Innersense conditioner has great slip, even without silicone. You just don't need it. Now let's talk about out of the shower. Reasons why you might get product buildup when applying your stylers. Don't go too heavy with applying the products or with the consistency of the products, depending on your hair type. First, you need to realize what kind of hair do you have? Is it fine or is it really thick? I have fine hair, so my hair loves lightweight products like gels or mousse. Thick, heavy butters or creams are going to weigh down your hair and could also contribute to you getting product buildup. Where if you have thick hair, you might need those thicker products or maybe you have high porosity hair, so it just sucks it up like nothing, which is fine, but you should only be applying your stylers to the lengths of your hair. Your scalp does not need any gel or leave-in or any type of styling product, it's just going to sit in your scalp. All stylers are for the lengths of your hair. So when you apply it, start about here, but don't like actually apply it to your scalp. If you love lightweight products, let me show you what I applied today. So I started off with the I Create Volume. You know I love me some volume. This is a volumizing lotion. Even though it's not a lotion consistency, as you can see, it's very loose serum consistency. It provides fullness and is made with certified organic honey and aloe vera. So even though my hair is fine, products like this that claim to add volume are going to help make it look even fuller. Notice when applying, I'm going to be using the prayer hands method, smoothing it down the lengths of my hair and scrunching it back up, but I'm not applying it directly to my scalp. The next product I'm going to be using is the Innersense I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. Can you tell I like my volume? Now the volumizing foam is a very airy, lightweight type mousse. But because it is so light and airy, I do apply this closer to my roots, but still not directly on my scalp, just to give my roots some lift to give it some volume. So what is something else that we usually apply to our roots? Hairspray. Hairspray is another culprit that usually loves to have silicone. It's a product that you're spraying directly to your roots to get more volume, possibly every day. So I would recommend using a silicone-free hairspray if you're going to apply something straight to your roots. This is the Innersense I Create Finish. This is one of my favorite Innersense products because I apply it to my wet hair and my dry hair. So this is the last step of my inner sense routine where I spray this to my wet hair because it will hold that definition and it'll actually help my hair dry even faster. I hate waiting for my hair to dry, especially air dry. So if you are an air dry person and you hate waiting seven to eight business days for your hair to dry, spray some of this all over and it'll create that hold a lot faster. This actually has even more hold than some gels that I have. It's amazing. So it's a workable hairspray for hold and shine. An actual nice shine, not a silicone plastic shine. So once I sprayed this all over my hair, it then created the cast like within minutes and then I felt comfortable with diffusing because I already had that cast. So once I diffused my hair, this was my final result. Amazing, defined, shiny, beautiful day one hair. And sometimes I even will go back in, do a couple spritz, just to pump it up and create more volume. So in conclusion, dandruff is more of a skin condition that might even need medical treatment depending on how bad it is, but product buildup is something that we create ourselves. So just be mindful of the ingredients in your products. So if you wanna order the detox mask for yourself or maybe the I Create Finish because you hate waiting for your hair to dry, or maybe you want some volume, some lift, whatever you need, I love all these products, definitely Bianca Renee approved. Innersense was nice enough to give me my own promo codes. If you use code Bianca15, you'll get 15% off your entire Innersense order. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.